Hi, I'm Jay Leno. I'm David Letterman. We watch 25 Hot Country Cafe. And you can too. Beholding heaven in palms tonight. And I fell in the water that you walked on. Be sure to watch the best late night show Sunday nights at 1030. That's 25 Hot Country Cafe. We're, we're on it. Yeah, Marty, Ray Peters, you need to get me on 25 Hot Country Cafe. It's the hottest thing going. Look, you're my agent. I don't care how you do it. Just do it. Zach Owen. And I'm Jim Cody from the Waco 100 Morning Show. Welcome to another exciting, fun-filled episode of 25 Hot Country Cafe. Hey. hey. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind moving your boots for a second? Ah, uh, you missed a spot right over there. Hey, could you bring me some more coffee? Sorry, buddy. That's not my table. No. Who, Who was that guy? I don't know. He looks familiar. Looks familiar. Oh, well. Let's get right to the videos tonight. You know, she's a spokesperson for Wrangler Jeans. She's been seen with Troy Aikman, and she's even found time to put a video out. It's Lori Morgan. Yeah. And half enough. Hi folks, we're Brother Phelps and you're watching 25 Hot Country Cafe. Welcome back to 25 Hot Country Cafe, here from Leslie's Chicken Shack. we got a couple of videos coming out. First one by Ricky Van Shelton, the second by a girl who got her start opening concerts for Garth Brooks. Here's Ricky Van and Martina McBride. She's been on the road. My Baby Loves Me, that's Martina McBride on 25 Hot Country Cafe with Zach and Jill. Stick around, more great videos on the way. Plus, Christine will have a look at country music news and concert information. And the Saxman reviews the new Garth CD, so stay tuned. Howdy, y'all. This is the Sax Man, Greg Sachs from Waco 100. I've got my hands on the brand new Garth Brooks CD in pieces. Since it's been in the stores for a few days, you've probably had your hands on it already, too. But my job is to tell you what I think about it. First of all, don't get me wrong, I love the first couple Garth projects, but it seems more and more like he's getting away from the traditional segment of country and leaning more towards this thing here, this more mainstream hardcore country. And I don't like that at all. Garth's really been responsible for the growth of country music in the last few years with songs like The Dance, Friends in Low Places, and Rodeo, but there ain't none of those on this project, which is a shame. I know Garth doesn't want to duplicate those hits or walk down the proverbial same road again, but I miss the old Garth Brooks. The only song on the new CD that comes close is American Honky Tonk Bar Association. Check that one out. Standing outside the fire is cool, and the night I called the old man out is relatable. But overall, I'd smash this CD in pieces and start over again. Sorry, Garth. It only rates a 5 on the sax scale from 1 to 10. That's it for me, the sax man. I'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Tracy Bird, and you're watching 25 Hot Country Cafe. 
Welcome back to 25 Hot Country Cafe. Oh, uh, it's time for country news and concert information. Here's Christine. Hello, everybody. I'm Christine Kahanek with a look at who's making news in country music. Singers Billy Ray Cyrus and Travis Tritt have finally called a truce. They're reportedly considering doing a Flood Victims Benefit concert in the near future. During an appearance on the Arsenio Hall show last week, Tritt announced that he was going to call Cyrus and the two would bury the hatchet. Alan and Denise Jackson are now the proud parents of Alexandra, or Allie Jane Jackson, who was born August 23rd in Nashville. Alexandra tipped the scales at 7 pounds and 3 ounces. By the way, Jackson is enjoying more than fatherhood these days. He's also up for seven Country Music Association awards to be given out September 29th. And here's an amazing story. Singer Ricky Van Shelton admits that he once made a serious attempt to take his own life. In a recent interview with TNN's Lorianne Crook, Shelton talked about his alcoholism, infidelity, and depression. The singer says one night on the road he decided to shoot himself with a gun that he kept hidden on his tour bus. But Shelton said the gun had mysteriously disappeared and has not been found. The singer credits God with saving his life and turning him away from alcoholism. And now a look at some of the hot acts coming soon to Texas. Tomorrow night at the Fort Worth Stockyards, Travis Tritt, Susie Boggus, along with Aaron Tippin and the Charlie Daniels Band will put on a special Labor Day concert. The show starts at 7 p.m. Call Ticketmaster for more information. Coming up this Friday night, Doug Supernaw will be performing at Billy Bob's. Tickets are $5.50. And also, a group you may not want to miss, Alabama. They'll be performing also on Friday night at the Starplex. The Garth Brooks concert is still weeks away, but if you still don't have tickets to the concert, don't worry. Listen to Wake 100 for your chance to win tickets. And speaking of concerts, Tracy Bird was recently at the Cowboy Club in Mejia. We'll talk with Tracy right after we look at this new video, Holding Heaven. in a little town called Vida, Texas, in southeast Texas, right outside of Beaumont, between Beaumont and Louisiana state line there. And I uh, grew up, went to high school in Vida, graduated from, from Vida High, and then uh, about uh, been living in Beaumont for about four years now. Moved into Beaumont when I started playing a whole lot around there. And uh, and uh, it's a uh, you know, great place to grow up, good place to live, and it's a place where I cut my teeth on uh, in the beer joints, you know, around southwest Louisiana and southeast Texas, and that's where it all started at. I, uh, I, I started playing guitar when I was off at Southwest Texas State, San Marcos. I went there for, for a year, and the uh, guy next door to me in the dorm had a guitar, and it was laying around a lot of the time, so I asked him if I could start messing with it, so I took it in my room, and I'd uh, just taught myself to play, basically. You know, he showed me some cards, and. Uh, and uh, learned how to play there and, and started singing. I'd always sing, you know, all my life in the shower, in the car. You know, my parents, when I was a little kid, they used to make me sing to them, but never did really till about 85 start thinking about doing it someday. And it took me, you know, a couple more years to get up the courage to, to try it. And... Holding Heaven is number four on the country charts and it's pretty wild. I wrote it down on paper the other day when I first got the chart in or heard on the phone. I didn't have a chart so I just wrote it down because it was Sawyer Brown number one and and uh, Dwight Yoakam number two and Billy Ray number three and me number four and Garth number five. So I just had to see it in the, in the middle of all those names. I had to see my name. It was pretty wild. It, it uh, excited me. I think you know, nowadays you got to do something to separate yourself from all this pack of artists, you know, and, and you can cut the same songs and cut them the same way, and you could be successful like that, but you can't be real successful. I mean, I believe to be a really superstar, and that's, I think, what everybody wants to be that's in this business. I mean, I think they, they have to have that drive to be, to be the best. And that's another edition of 25 Hot Country Cafe. Be sure to listen to us in the morning on Waco 100, and we'll see you back here next week on Channel 25.